hi guys welcome to my channel it's about packaging again guys and today I'm going to show you how to make Ghana tomato stew so all my ingredients are here I'm gonna use um, pink salmon 12 ounces of tomato paste 2 carrots 2 hot peppers 5 medium tomatoes 1 and a half medium onion have a medium green pepper I have my oil with my seasoning shrimp powder um, onger seasoning jumbo cube I have um, bay leaves curry powder ginger powder nutmeg moustache garlic powder and my salt so guys, in this video, I'm going to show you all the measurements. So let's get started. So guys, I'm going to start with my pepper. So I have two hot pepper here. So I'm going to um, cut this into pieces and blend with the pepper. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's done. And I'm going to use a half cup of water. It's gonna help me to blend the pepper and the onion so guys, together. I have my tomatoes here. It's nice and washed, so I'm gonna cut it into pieces. I'm gonna squeeze the seeds out as well because I don't really need it. If you want, you can go ahead and keep them, but I'm just gonna squeeze all the seeds out. I don't want my um, stew to be too watery. So I'm just going to cut it into pieces. So I'm going to cut my pepper and then the carrots. So I'm going to cut it this way. You can cut it whichever way you want, but with me, I prefer this way better. And my onion is next, so I'm gonna cut it into two. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use it right now, I will use this one later. So with this one, I'm gonna use to fly with the oil. I already have this on the stove. I have like a tablespoon, so I'm going to use it to measure the oil. So probably I will use maybe six tablespoon. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm using six tablespoons. So right now my oil is nice and hot. So I'm going to add my onion, diced onions. Can you see it? Yeah. And I'm going to let it fry until it turns brown, like a golden brown. My onion is nice and brown, as you can see. So I'm just going to add my um, blended chili pepper. Hope you can see. There it is. I'm gonna let this cook for five minutes. So I think my stew is about five minutes. So I'm just gonna add my diced tomatoes. Okay, so I'm gonna add some of the seasonings as well. 
So I'm gonna add the bay leaves, jumbo shrimp. It's one teaspoon of mustache. One teaspoon of ginger powder. I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of salt. Like that and then we're gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes so guys my tomato stew is about 10 minutes now so as you can see so I'm just gonna add my tomato paste so this is the 12 um, ounces of tomato paste that I show you I'm gonna add um, my tuna guys uh, with the um, the mackerel make sure you don't pour um, like the can straight for into your stew because the can has like water in it so you have to make sure you drain the water first and then take off the bones as well so I'm just gonna add my mackerel and also I'm gonna add um, some of the seasonings as well a teaspoon of um, garlic powder and also I'm gonna add my veggies and again I'm gonna add my onger seasoning And I'm going to add just a half cup of water. So right now, I'm just going to cover it and let it cook for 15 minutes and I'll add the rest of my seasonings. So guys, as you can see, my stew is about 15 minutes now. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add um, the rest of my seasoning. So I'm going to add um, two teaspoon of shrimp powder oh yeah this shrimp powder will give you a stew a very good taste trust me that's two so I'm gonna add one teaspoon of nutmeg see teaspoon of garlic powder Like that. And then this is the half onions, so I'm just gonna add it right now. It's smelling like heaven, guys. <laughs> it's smelling really good. So, guys, as you can see, my tomato stew is doing amazing. Just a shaman kasa. I'm not kitchen high. So tasty boom it's gonna be really tasty oh um, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do next is um oh before guys I added another two uh, tablespoon of oil because the tomatoes was too much so I just have to make sure I have everything even so right now I'm just gonna add my eggs My stew is almost done now guys, it's looking really nice as you can see. So I'm just gonna let this cook again for about 5 minutes and that will be it. Hello guys, so as you can see my stew is well done. Today we are going to eat with rice, as you can see so I'm just gonna serve it guys. Put it on top of your rice or if you have your yams or plantains it can go well with it too so this is how I make my tomato stew add my eggs as well 
This dish is really easy to make, guys. So guys, this is how I make my tomato stew. Thank you so much for watching and also cooking with me. Give this a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is Oba Packaging. On we January, no. Aha. Any wapono. Me sendi bimro. Oh, try, try, try. Do a few. You can make it, okay, guys. So now go put sure Obi Biara. Give this food a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Subscribe to my channel for more Obapa videos. So I'll see you all on my next video. Bye, guys.